I know some of you might be saying, isn't this a little early? Well, it's never too early to talk about the next year's NFL draft. Yes, the 2014 NFL draft is only a couple of weeks gone by, but now it's time to shift gears and start to slowly focus on the 2015 NFL Draft, and I present to you my inaugural 2015 NFL Mock Draft in the description box down below. Now, it might be a couple of months before I do another Mock Draft for 2015, but here's my initial offering right now. If you're looking down in the description box and you see the pick order and you see where I have certain teams, don't take too, too much stock into it. Some of the placements are based off of where I view teams finishing the 2014 season out at. In other cases, it's just not. It's just kind of random. I just did it to kind of give me a feel for how the first round of the 2015 NFL draft would play out right now, in my humble opinion. Now, you will notice first off that I have Marcus Mariota, the quarterback from Oregon, going number one overall to the Oakland Raiders. When you look at Mariota, I think he is the creme de la creme in the scouts' eyes in terms of quarterback prospects for the 2015 NFL Draft. Here is a guy with size, with arm strength, the mobility, the athleticism, the improvement in pocket passing, even though he still has a way to go, as well as with the ball security. I envision him as a Colin Kaepernick type of quarterback, and if the San Francisco 49ers have another really good year in 2014 and maybe make it to the Super Bowl and maybe even win it, you're going to see with the NFL being a copycat league that some teams are going to look for their Colin Kaepernick type of quarterback. And I think the best all-around quarterback prospect, at least at this point in time where we sit, is Marcus Mariota from Oregon. Now, I think you might see as many as four quarterbacks going round number one. You'll notice I have Jameis Winston going number three to the Jets. Um, he's a guy that, from a talent standpoint, could be as talented as anybody, but he has some immaturity issues. He has some off-the-field baggage that comes along with him, and it might shy cause some teams to shy away from him. Then you'll see I have Bryce Petty going in the top ten. He's an interesting prospect because he has the size. It looks like he has the arm strength. But he does play in that Art Bryles Baylor system. Now, Bryles has said that he feels that Petty is the best quarterback prospect he's ever had. That includes RG3. But it will remain to be seen how he puts out, how he produces in 2014, and if he shows that he could be more than just a system quarterback. And then I have Brent Hudley going late in the first round to the Houston Texans. Now, Hudley is a guy that I didn't see the amount of progression that I envisioned seeing out of him in 2013, but he's a guy, again, with all the physical tools there, you know, similar to a Marcus Mariota or a Jameis Winston. A guy like Hunley, if he progresses in 2014, in particular with his decision-making as a pocket passer, he's a guy that could shoot right back up into top 10 consideration. A couple of other quarterbacks to maybe keep your eyes on this season, guys like Hogan from Stanford, guys like Sean Mannion from Oregon State, the Cook kid from Michigan State. Those are some other quarterbacks that if they have a really good season, they could slide into the first round consideration because all the people talking before the 2013 season about quarterbacks like Teddy Bridgewater and Johnny Manziel, a guy like Blake Bortles really frankly came out of nowhere to be the third overall pick for the Jacksonville Jaguars. So you just never know. You just never know. One thing we do know or we should know about the 2015 NFL draft is that thankfully we're going to see a resurgence of importance of the running backs because this is going to be a very deep, very talented, loaded running back class and I would expect a minimum of three running backs to be taken in round number one being led of course by Todd Gurley from Georgia this is the guy that AP type that Marshawn Lynch type that type of back that can do a lot of everything a big physical guy that has explosive home run speed I'd be stunned at this point if he didn't end up the top 10 pick in the 2015 NFL Draft, if not maybe a top 5 pick. For all the talk about devaluing of the running back position, let me ask you this. If you had the chance to get a guy like an Adrian Peterson or a guy like a Marshawn Lynch, would you spend a top 10 pick on him? you damn right you would all freaking day. This is also going to be a great draft in 2015 for pass rushers, both in terms of 4-3 defensive ends and also for 3-4 outside linebackers. Some of the guys that really stand out are Randy Gregory, the defensive event slash outside linebacker from Nebraska, guys like Devontae Fields from TCU, Vic Beasley from Clemson, other guys too, defensive end slash defensive tackle, guy like Leonard Williams from USC, another defensive end like a Shalik Calhoun from Michigan State, a Mario Edwards from Florida State, a really good draft class of 2015 if you're looking for an elite, perhaps, perimeter edge rusher. 
Um, in terms of the elite talents that I see in this 2015 NFL draft at this point in time, and again, a lot of things are going to change, so don't take too much stock into it at this point. But based off of my early study, from a physical standpoint, the elite prospects that I see are Marcus Mariota, Todd Gurley, Doriel Green Beckham, David Gregory, excuse me, Randy Gregory, <laughs> and Leonard Williams. If I was piecing together my big board right now, it would be those five guys in that particular order. Now, a guy like Green Beckham is a guy, obviously, 6'6", 215 pounds, and he can fly. But he has some off-the-field baggage, some character concerns, since he got kicked off of the Missouri team for off-the-field transgressions. But this is a guy, again, you're talking about immensely physically talented. And if he goes out and tears shit up in 2014 and he sits there and establishes that he's got his head screwed on straight in the pre-draft process at the combine in the team interviews, this is a guy that has top 10, if not top 5 talent written all over him. You're looking at an A.J. Green type of clone. And again, Randy Gregory and Leonard Williams at this point in time are the two premier type of pass rushers in this draft. One in Leonard Williams being a defensive tackle who could maybe play defensive end for the right team in the right system. And a guy like Randy Gregory who just gets after it. This guy is a freaking beast and I can't wait to see what he does at Nebraska in 2014. So again, you can look at my first 2015 NFL mock draft down in the description box down below. Let me know what you think. There are lots of other players that maybe could have been thrown into the first round here that just weren't, so don't take it too personal. If you think there are guys that I should be paying closer attention to, guys that are overrated or underrated for the 2015 NFL draft, again, let me know down below in the comments section.